Hello and welcome to Levant TV Headlines. In Washington, the US State Department said that Secretary of State John Kerry will meet Palestinian negotiators to discuss the ceasefire in the Gaza Strip and other issues. Egypt's foreign minister called for a collective and international approach against the barbarism of jihadist groups in Syria and Iraq. The White House said that President Barack Obama ordered about 350 more US troops to Baghdad to protect American diplomatic facilities and staff in the Iraqi capital. Lana State News Agency has reported that a pro-Islamist figure, Omar al-Hassi, presented a cabinet lineup to the outgoing General National Congress, rivaling Libya's internationally recognized government. Yemen's President Abdrabu Mansur Hadi is to name a new Prime Minister and cut a disputed fuel price hike as he bids to head off escalating tension with rebels. Now let's take a look at the top headlines in today's newspapers in the Middle East. The Daily Star reports that the family of a Lebanese soldier beheaded by ISIS called on citizens to revolt until the remaining 23 soldiers and policemen held captive by jihadists were released. We will not remain silent until they return home safely, said the uncle of First Sergeant Ali al-Sayed. The paper also reports that an international rights group says ISIS militants carried out a mass killing of hundreds of Iraqi soldiers captured when the extremists overran a military base north of Baghdad in June. The Hurriyet Daily states that Turkish state security suffered no operational losses due to electronic spying by US, German or British efforts. The MIT official said no critical conversation was made or decision regarding state security had been taken electronically for a long time, adding that such conversations only took place face to face. The paper also reports that drawing attention to steadily rising attacks against mosques in Germany, Turkey's top cleric has said the Pope must translate words into deeds with regard to the misperception and misinterpretation of Islam. The Carlige Times reports NATO's plan for new defence units in Eastern Europe was evidence of the desire of US and NATO leaders to continue their policy of aggravating tensions with Russia. The paper also states a top Saudi security official said that police had arrested 88 men suspected of being part of an Al-Qaeda cell that was plotting attacks inside and outside of the kingdom. Now let's take a look at the top Middle East headlines from the UK papers. The Guardian reports that the UK government will examine every possible option to protect a British hostage threatened with death by Islamic State extremists. The Foreign Secretary, Phil Hammond, has said his comments came as he confirmed that an unsuccessful attempt was made to rescue the British hostage and others held by ISIS. The Independent reports that militants from the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, ISIS, have released a video claiming to show the beheading of American journalist Stephen Sotloff and are threatening a British hostage with a similar fate if the US continues airstrikes against its forces. Now let's take a look at the top Middle East headlines in the international papers. The Deutsche Welle reports that the White House has ordered another 350 U.S. troops to be sent to protect U.S. interests in Baghdad. Top U.S. officials are also Middle East bound, aiming to build a regional partnership against jihadists. And finally, from the Global Times, it has been reported that reaching a comprehensive agreement on Iran's nuclear issue is likely before the November the 24th deadline. Iran's senior nuclear negotiator Abbas Arakchi said, We are trying our best and we are hopeful and we are optimistic. And for more updates, please visit Levant.tv. Thanks for watching. Be sure to join us again tomorrow. Bye for now.